Hey guys, what's up, Perry? Hope you're well. And today we're gonna talk about you know, two classic flower: Caputo blue and Caputo red. What's the difference? Why people choose the blue, people choose the red? So I'm gonna give you in this video very quickly explanation about this flower, how to use it, what's the difference. So let's start. What's the difference between these two flowers? No match, the both double zero. Uh, the protein of this flower is between 11 per percent. And this flower, the protein is 13 percent. The W is a little bit different. What is the W? The W is a, I will call the index to show the strength of the flower. So for example, the W of this flower is 260, 280, and the W of this flower is 300, 320. So that means the W is more high, that means more gluten. So in Italy, we do five types of flower. Double zero, zero, type one, type two, and integral, which is a whole meal. So what does that mean? The grain that is become thinner, 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 until double zero, which is, is pretty much destroy all the fiber inside. I will show you what the integral is look like. Some people ask me in my video, what is your, the black spot of your door? That's the integrale, all meal flour, which has got full of fiber. I will call this the very great flour, because it's got all the fiber, everything. So I'm gonna say, can we make pizza with this flour? I've done a video, it's not gonna have a great result. I'm gonna put the link below about making pizza with the all meal flour, holy. It's so difficult, it's, it's look like a gluten-free flour. Uh, but you can mix with the other flour to get much more quality of, of fiber inside. So if it's double zero, basically all the fiber is being killed. So they, there's not much fiber on, the, on the, this flour. It is very, very grinded. Maybe a type zero is going to be more, type one and type two, yeah, then it's going to be more. What's the difference again? So this one mostly is more for between 12 to 24 hours raising time. So quite short time to raising. So if you're, you decide to make a pizza from small short in terms, uh, below or 24 hours is ideally. This one is more for 24 up to 48 hours for long raising time. Also it's got more strong, so more elastic as well. They're both elastic, but this is more stronger. More the double is like, more they go gluten, more it's more elastic, and more you get more stronger the flower. So this one is more for 12 to 24 hours, if it does your range of uh, baking your pizza. Most of our restaurant that use the, the blue. I do prefer the red because I like the long raising time. And that's the little difference between them. So both of them you can get good results. There's no problem. This is called less uh, less gluten. The W is, is a bit less. And that is going to raise a, bit, a little bit faster than the, the red one, which is, this is more for long raising time. So that's the reason what's the difference between those two flowers. Uh, so what I like as well, I always mix some all meal flour especially more my starter, it make more, more flour in the door, more, more healthy, if you call, or call that way. It's making your pizza more fragrance and more digest as well. So that's pretty much is the difference. I go want to say my last most things before explaining your detail. Also gonna put the link below all about the W, what is the W, give you more explanation because otherwise this video is gonna take an hour to explain all those kind of information. I'm gonna put you the, the, the W to explain what does that mean. And then one more thing I was going to say, always check the allergies information on this flower, or most of the flower. For example, if you wanna come close here, for example, what they say here, look, they said trace of, could be trace of soya or mustard. So very careful when you're making pizza to aware your customer, your pizza might have trace of soya or mustard because some there are the, one of the uh, 14 allergens. You need to make sure customer they knows or whatever you're serving because someone could be very allergic or soya 
or mustard. Um, I know they say trace, maybe it doesn't have it, maybe a little bit. But I always tell to your customer about the, the allergens information about this flower, most of the flower they can have it, this kind of allergy information. So guys, that was my little explanation, explain because a little bit confused about what's why the red, the blue is better, the, the, the blue is better, the red or vice versa. This, they're both good. It all depends about your raising time of the flower. Hope the video was a little bit short and clear. Uh, if you got any comments regarding, just leave a comment below. We're gonna ask where all of you, if you are interested about this flower, and uh, that's it for today guys hope you like this little tutorial for today and uh, see you next time cheers